ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at the Nifty here, which had a sizable drop overnight, down about 2.39%, a big down day. In my opinion, this can be explained if we take a look at where the RSI on the daily was trading. We can see that overnight we slashed below the RSI level of 30.9. And typically when you move below this level, you have a huge reaction or an expansion in volatility to the, to the downside, which is exactly what we get with this 2.39%. In fact, if we take a look at the bank nifty coming into the overnight action, it too had been trading below the 30.9 level going back to this drop here. So this drop, this huge drop, corresponds to when the bank nifty dropped below 30.9 and it has generally been trading below 30.9 throughout this period here. We can see overnight that there was a 1% drop because again it did drop back below the 30.9 threshold. So we can explain the big moves overnight because of where the markets have been trading. Bank Nifty been trading with a bearish look, trading below the 30.9 level, going all the way back to this huge drop. And now we can see that the Nifty itself did drop back below 30.9, something it hasn't done in a couple of years. I believe going back 2016. And we can see the sizable drop. Now, the key here is as long as we are trading below 30.9 on either the bank nifty or on the nifty itself, we can assume that the market generally is going to be in a sideways at best market down at worst because of staying below 30.9. The only way to start recovering is by moving both the bank nifty above 30.9 Otherwise, we might be trapped in a downward market the more we stay below RSI 30.9 on the daily. Eric Moavith, Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!